before I could get my land in 2015, there is this reluctancy in selling to a female and the person keeps asking, am I sure I can do what I want to do? Am I sure do women do fish farming starting from the scratch? I do not grow my fish to a very big size. I try to have a target market that is geared towards not so big fish. At the end of the year, we can say we have about five tons. I have to go to other farmers to buy because I cannot sustain the market all year round. The whole value chain is dominated by men. The, you know, the artisanal fisheries, that is where you find a lot of women whereby they help in drying, smoking, and all of that. 90% of my workers are female. And why is this so? It is because some men feel, will I say, inferiority complex, or they do not want to work with us, seeing that this is a woman. Over 40% of animal portraits that we consume in Nigeria is from fish. The market is really huge. As a matter of fact, there is still deficit in supply because we still have to import fish. As long as the population keeps increasing, there is a lot of opportunities for many people that cut across the value chain, be it production, be it fish feed. I would like that we have something like a one-stop shop such that women who are into small-scale fish farming can come around, bring they are tonnage or, or maybe kilograms that they process. There should be a standard for the type of products that they come up with. And then we can penetrate other markets, huge markets, so that, of course, there will be increase in income. So I'm talking about having like a, a processing fish community, whereby all the different women that are engaged in fish farming or fish processing can come out with their produce and get to sell it at the ready market.